turning to your world news this morning as we now enter day two of war in Israel with people living there describing the scene as chaotic and terrifying. Now more than 200 people have been killed and nearly 2000 others wounded. The Palestinian militant group Hamas choosing a Jewish holiday to launch an attack on and into Israel. Here in the U.S. police have tightened security around synagogues and mosques. President Biden weighing in Saturday pledging unwavering support to Israel and sending a warning to adversaries. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. Well, President Biden wasn't the only one to speak out on the war. Several GOP candidates discussing the conflict on the campaign trail yesterday. Vivek Ramaswamy, former VP Mike Pence, Governor Ron DeSantis and former President Donald Trump all using their platforms to voice their opinions and all blaming the president for the attacks. We will stand for our national values and most importantly, our national security. We have now our country is a perceived, you know, it's, we're we're really a country that's looked at with this tremendous perceived weakness with a grossly incompetent and corrupt president. He's a he's an incompetent man. So this is the equivalent for Israel of probably what happened in the United States in September 11th. If the world knows nothing else, let the world know this. America stands with Israel. Well, Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu has thanked President Biden for his support. It comes as the U.S. is working a peace deal between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Hamas says the attack was sending a message to any country working on peace with Israel.